When you are here on a Sunday morning with little traffic and you walk along the city, you can still feel as if it is the 17th century. So the physical state of the city is almost as it was in the 17th century. Whenever you walk around the city, you know something of its past. You feel that history is coming out of the facade of almost every building. Every building has its own story. Story sometimes with a local meaning, often with a national meaning and sometimes with an international meaning. Even though Leiden is the birthplace of Rembrandt, most people associate the city of Amsterdam with the master. Yet Rembrandt would not have been so successful when he moved to Amsterdam without the opportunities afforded to him as a young artist in Leiden. Not many people know that the cradle of his own career was here in Leiden. And Leiden is to blame for it partly. The house where he was born and where he was raised was torn down as late as the early 20th century, which was a blamage who just, just raised to the ground such an important building. It was, must have been a little house, after all his father was a miller, but still. What you do see, of course, are the old university buildings. The Latin school was still around. And don't forget, he was still a young boy when he was here. He was raised here. He was born here. The basis of his mastery is in this city, and you can tell. He had a very humble background. However, he had brains. His parents took him to university and to the Latin school to educate himself. And I think in his early paintings, you can already sense that there must have been an intellectual training. He left the city when he was quite young. So in the beginning he was already seen as quite a big talent when he still lived in Leiden. Everyone remembered him as a, as a great son of the city, even in the 17th century, when one of the mayors, who also was one of the city's historians, wrote about Leiden, its past, and he wrote quite a lot about Rembrandt, because he was very famous in those days. In the 17th and 18th centuries, Leiden's economy was based on the production of cloth, and along with Lyon, France, it was one of the biggest textile producers in Europe. In the beginning of the 17th century, the city was booming, and you felt the wealth in those days. There was money for everything. In England, the Industrial Revolution started, and when people from Leiden lost a lot of their markets, half of the population went away and well, a new industrialization came with factories as canned food for all kinds of heavy forges. And this remained until the 60s of the 20th century. And then every traditional industry disappeared. With the devastating loss of jobs and industry, there was huge unemployment and Leiden quickly deteriorated. Much of the city's infrastructure and buildings quickly fell into disrepair. Throughout all the economic ups and downs, the one constant for the city was Leiden University, the oldest university in the Netherlands and one of the defining aspects of the city's profile during Rembrandt's era. Leiden is mining its heritage as a city of culture and knowledge as Rembrandt's city. Because of the economic decline in the 18th and 19th centuries, much of the city's center remains as it was during Rembrandt's time. A visitor understands what it must have been like for Rembrandt to walk along the cobblestone streets, to be inspired by the intellectual life associated with the university. It is a city that once again inspires and excites. It sparks ideas through its 17th century character. Now, more than ever, Leiden is showing itself to be rooted in its 17th century history.